morning everyone it's Adele here hope you're all well what I thought I'd talk about today is some share some tips with you about um, zoom and how to use zoom and feel more comfortable on zoom because if you're anything like me um, you know when everything went to zoom and it was like sort of you know felt like I'd got zooms all the time all day every day um, you know I really didn't like it at first and um, you know and I still sort of have to push myself a little bit now um, but I have picked up some tips um, along the way that have helped me a lot um, to make me feel you know more confident and more comfortable on Zoom so I want to share the tips with you so what we're going to cover is you know some um, things you can do to prepare for the Zoom um, how you um, position your camera and everything and a bit of the, the technical stuff and then just a, a couple of tips on you know how to feel more confident during the zoom and how to act so um hope this helps so the first thing is to prepare and it's the same as with anything where you know you're going to be in the spotlight or you know you're going to feel like you, you're going to have some nerves so it's the same sort of stuff as i've talked about before for you know public speaking attending an interview all these things you've got to get yourself in the right frame of mind so you've got to relax yourself and when we're relaxed we are more confident so you know things you can do are some deep breathing you know some just take some time to sit and quietly and just extend you know your breathing in and out that will help to relax you um you can um stand in a power pose i've talked about this before where you can just stand you know pretend you're wonder woman hand on your hips just stand up tall just for a few minutes it doesn't take long but just a few minutes um all these things will give you confidence um you know it's all about your body language and your posture so they will all give you confidence um, the other things you can do are you know perhaps watch a a YouTube video or something or listen to an upbeat song just something that gets you in a good mood um, so that's the you know applies to everything where you're going to you know need more confidence the second part is how you actually you know set up your camera and everything on the zoom so what I like to do is I've got um, a system now that works and it's not uh, not professional at all but it's a, literally the chair that I'm using now to hold my phone camera on um, and on top of that I put a box I had a um, you can use a pile of books or a pile of magazines or something but I've just got this box that's the perfect size that contained um, a birthday gift that I had recently which was um, one of these um, diffusers from Neom <laughs> so it, the box is perfect size so I just put that on top of the chair and then I put rest my laptop on top of that uh, and a tip that I picked up was to tilt the laptop screen towards you just slightly uh, and that will be a more you know flattering angle um and then um you know if you really really don't like um you know looking at yourself on zoom on a on a screen you can put a piece of paper over the you know over um the actual screen so that you know you can't see yourself i mean then you won't be able to see anybody else either um but it is you know something you can do if if you really don't like looking at yourself on the screen um and then um you know the the best place sometimes people say you know where do i look where i don't know where to look and it is really awkward actually to get used to this and it it's something that takes practice but you have to look into the little pinhole the camera on your computer um, and that will from from the other person's you know perspective that will look like you're directly looking at them um, but it is quite awkward, actually, if you've got, you know, um, a screen full of faces and the person that's talking, you know, obviously you're wanting to look at them. So then it will look like, you know, you're looking down perhaps or, you know, to the side. Uh, and that's unavoidable, I think. But when you're talking into the screen, if you look at, if you focus on the the, the pinhole camera, um, then it will definitely you know, look to the other people that are attending that you're looking directly at them. Um so just a couple of tips with, you know, actually taking part in the Zoom, whether, you know, you might be sort of running a Zoom yourself or you might be attending a Zoom. So obviously that depends, you know, on what your situation is. But if you are in a situation where you would like to, you know, say something, one of the things that I used to dread was, you know, speaking up because usually somebody else would speak at the same time and then, you know, nobody knows who's going to go next. And it's just that little bit of an awkwardness. Um, but I just learned that if you have a couple of um, lines that you uh, introduce yourself with, such as, 
can I say or um, what I want to say is and just sort of an introduction to you know to the point that you're going to make so just a few words that just leads you in um, and if you're just assertive and just say them you know this this again comes with practice I was um, you know not good at this at all at first but now I'm sort of a little bit more assertive and if I see you know, a chance I will just you know speak um, but it is something that, you know, you're going to have to get used to and, and just, yeah, again, you know, confidence comes from taking action and just doing it. Um, so the last thing um, I wanted to say was just, you know, just the same as with a public si si public speaking situation. If you were on a stage, uh, one of the things that used to put me off massively was to look at people and see that they looked bored, like if they were looking in their handbag or, you know, looking at their phone or something like that. And it's no different on Zoom. In fact, I think it's, you know, more so um, because people are in their home environments. They're you know sometimes, you know, quite sort of relaxed on the sofa or whatever. And it might appear that they're not interested or they're not listening. Um, and you've just got to, you know, put that to the the back of your mind and not look at them because and not take it to heart because people are going to look like that it's just you know sometimes people's listening face isn't you know an engaged looking face it's just they're taking it all in but they're not actually appearing to be you know as if they are and um, so you've just got to ignore that um, to a certain degree and just focus on what you're saying um, so I hope those little tips help um, you know obviously it's I think, you know, Zoom's going to be around for a while now. I don't think, you know, we will get back to face to face meetings and things. But I think Zoom will play a massive part um, as we go forward because it's so convenient, um, you know, just to be able to get into these situations from the comfort of your own home. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be here to stay. So we need to uh, get comfortable with it. So I hope that's helped. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.